Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at how to use Tailwind CSS in a Remix application. So I've got Remix up here. Um, it's, a, it's a full stack web framework. So similar to things like Next.js, Svelte, Astro, Nux, Fight, you know, and have one of these uh, frameworks that allow you to create your website. It's quite a new one, it's quite interesting. Um, so just gonna see how you can get Tailwind in there. Uh, before we do that, if you find yourself enjoying the video, feel free to click that subscribe below and you'll get updates for future videos. All right, so uh, that's the website for it. We'll come back to that. First thing we want to want to do is do an npx create remix um, at latest, and this will scaffold out our site for us. Should be fairly quick. Then... Um, We'll, we'll straight away install Tailwind CSS and, and do the sort of standard stuff that you would do for Tailwind and then show the little uh, tweaks you need to do to make it work uh, within a Remix. All right, so we'll just let this complete. Okay, so some defaults here for us to run. Uh, we'll just have it in the current directory. We'll have just the basics and TypeScript, and we'll run npm, yep. We can speed up as well, it'll be slow. Okay, so if we look in here now, what's it created for us? It's a bit, it's a bit smaller. So we've got our, 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 our web app created here. Within this app directory, we'll have um, our pages, um, and it's got our config and package.json in there. All right, so let's, let's well, let's not open that. Let, let's, let's install Tailwind straight away. So let's do um, an empty install. Tailwind CSS uh, as a dev dependency. Okay. Now to set up Tailwind in any app, we're, we're basically going to need to create the Tailwind config file, and then we need to be able to kick off Tailwind, giving it the input file and tell it where to put its output file. So Tailwind will scan your source folder and look for what Tailwind classes you're using, um, and it will create your styles based on that. Uh, so what do we do? Let's do a, um, an MPX Tailwind CSS um, and init. So that will create our config file, tailwind, tailwind.config.js. We just need to put some directives in there just to set up Tailwind. Uh, let's, let's do that. So where is it? Tailwind config here. Um, right, what we're doing here is specify which folders Tailwind is going to search to see what classes we're using. And that is going to be within the app folder and we'll have everything within app. Um, so we're going to have all JS, TS, CS, CSX, and JSX. Should be good there. Right, and then we also need to tell it what items to include in Tailwind. There's kind of a default setup for this. So what we'll do is create a styles folder and we'll create a tailwind.css file. And in here we just need to add the tailwind directives. So we'd have tailwind base, tailwind com. Components and Tailwind uh, utilities. So, um, so we're in combination with this config and that file, we can now create um, the Tailwind CSS that we would like to include in our project. And to do that, we will be running this sort of command. We'll do uh, npx tailwind css, and we need to specify the input file, and that is in styles, and the file we just created, tailwind.css. 
And then we need to say where our output file is going. And we're going to put that in our app and within a new styles folder and still call it Tailwind CSS. Okay, now we run this, make it a bit smaller to get this wrapping. Um, so it's created the file. It does give us a warning. It says no utility classes were detected, which is correct because we haven't added any to our um, HTML pages yet. So that's good. Um, if I come back into Visual Studio, we created this styles one here. But now if I go into app, there's the one that we created uh, just now using um, that Tailwind command. And in here, we've got the Tailwind CSS. So it's got all of its, um, its, its CSS reset. And when we use classes, they'll get added down in here. So, yeah, Tailwind is pretty performant and it'll only add in the ones that, it doesn't add in all of the Tailwind classes, just the ones you use. And so we'll be able to see those down the bottom there when we add it. So, all right, let's, let's do that so we can see it working. Um, we do need to pull that file in. So we need to go into root TSX. So this is the um, Remix specific integration now that we need to do for Tailwind. So we come into root TSX and we will do an import styles. And that's gonna be from um, styles and Tailwind CSS. So this is our generated Tailwind CSS file. Now to make it accessible in a Remix, we're gonna need a, a function called links. This can get a bit bigger. Um, so we need a function called links and that will return uh, an object with a rel style sheet. And a href of those styles. So by adding uh, these two lines here, we've now we're now going to have this CSS file available throughout our whole application. You know, if you weren't using Tailwind, this gets used um, on a kind of page by page basis. So you can have different styles per page, but that's not the model we use with Tailwind. It's, we've, we've already got all of our semantic classes globally defined, um, and we're just gonna use them where we like. So this is kind of gone over. All right, um, we should be able to run this now. If I do an npm run dev, Got a local host. All right, so there's the default page that we see. Um, and we can come back in here. Go into our app folder, roots, and look at our the current route that we've got. And so let's have a look at this uh, Welcome to Remix, which is just this top bit here. And I can now use a Tailwind class, I suspect. So class name equals to text 5XL. And a bit of color as well. So let's do um, hundred, like so. Just make it a little bit divided. Let's go back. Let's go back again. So class name uh, text five XL and text red five hundred. So a couple of tailwind utility classes there. Now when I say that off, we, we still need something to kick off that rescan. So what you would do in, in some situations would be to, to run this again and run it with a um, 
a watch flag. So any changes you then get populated. But we don't want to have to run this constantly manually. We want this as part of our process because we've got npm build run here. npm run dev, sorry. Um, so we want to incorporate it in there. Um, you know, if I, if I just run this again manually now, just to show you, that will create our file. Now, we shouldn't see this. Um, so that means I've got a problem with where it's scanning. Let's go and have a quick look in here. Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm missing that there. So we run it again now. Okay, so now it's created and we don't, this warning was before because we had the, the syntax error, but now it's created it successfully. Um, and if I come into, um, back into the Remix project and look at our generated styles and scroll all the way down, you can see it's added these new ones to the bottom, the two that we're using. So it's created that file. So it's still a manual step at the moment, um, but, we should see it on the website if I refresh it. Oh, I just need to do npm run dev again. Okay, and you can see it updating there. So that so we've done the step to get it um, integrated using the root.tsx and that links function and importing the styles. Now we just want to be able to have it uh, update automatically rather than having to manually run it. So we can go into the package.json here. A look at the script. So here's our npm run dev that we're running. What we're going to do is add a new dev CSS. And in there, we'll literally do that same thing. So we'll do, <coughs> we'll do tailwind CSS, give it the input file, which is in styles tailwind.css and give it the output file, which we want to place in app styles, tailwind.css, and we'll add that watch flag so that this is, when, when this gets run, it will keep checking and looking for any changes to those files. Uh, okay, let's get there. Okay, so when we do a remix dev here, we want to do Remix Dev and we want to do Dev CSS. So we're going to use a package concurrently to kick both of these off. So we're going to do concurrently, and we're going to get it to run. Um, npm run Dev CSS, and also uh, Remix Dev. So, so we need to install uh, that package. Um, so just stop this guy again for the moment and we'll do an npm install again dev dependency and concurrently that's it there um, so that should so now when we do npm run dev it should kick off our tailwind and dev at the same time so let's try that. We'll do an npm run dev. So we've got, you can see Tailwind there being run, and also the, um, the remix code. So now I'll get these side by side because when I run, when I make a change in here now, so say we reduce this and save it. I need to ref I need to get that link back. Sorry. So okay, let's do back up to five. Okay, so now we're getting that instant reload because we've got um, in our package.json we've updated it to run the tailwind generation um, and watch for more generations whenever we run the the dev server. Um, so there you go. Um, tailwind CSS working in a, a remix a web application. Hope that was interesting. Give you a thumbs up if you liked it. Ah, uh, thumbs up if not. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye.